Hi there, this is Joe. This video I'm going to demonstrate how to DIY the power over internet. This is the KFIE cable. We'll use two pairs to send the power. First, let's go to the whiteboard and see how this works out. This is the KFIE cable. There's four pair, twist pair inside. One, two, three, six. This four, this two pair has been using to send the data, and four, five, combine together to send the power. One more, and seven, eight, for another combine for another pair. Totally, we have two cable to send the power, and one, two, three, six will go to the R three, four, five for the network. The other end is the same for the, for the data and here combine together for the power This is what the PoE, passive PoE injector and splitter do The power will power the device So here we connect to the network But let's move back to make the connection here we have made the connection. The power was added to the internet cable by using the positive injector. And the 1, 2, 3, 6 was connected to the main network by using the RJ45. So here we got the power and network over a single internet cable. And this is the speaker. We separate the power from the network and connect to the IP device. Now we can power up. So once we turn on the power, we see the power is right at the camera. And wait for a while, we can see the data. And one thing important, we need to make the connection before we power up. The reason is there are no protection from this injector and speaker. It's simply add the power. So if we make the connection with the power, it's very easy to create a surge, power surge, which may damage your device. Right next, we are going to replace this passive injector and speaker with active device. This is the active PoE injector and speeder. Both devices comply with IEEE standard. It's totally safe use for power over internet. According to IEEE standard, the injector needs to verify the speeder also IEEE comply before it release the power. Right now, let's make the replacement. First, we take off the positive speeder and replace with active speeder. And here, we don't need the power. We take off the PoE injector and the power. And replace with the active PoE injector. We connect the cable to the PoE port. Then connect the LAN to our main network. Now we can add the power source to the injector. Then power up. You can see the speeders getting the power, also the network. The another difference is the positive injector speeder only can transmit power around 20 meters, even less. The reason is if the cable is too long, the voltage drop will become very serious. However, the positive pure injector speeder using DC 48 voltage, so it can send power and data over around 100 meters. Alright, that's all. Thanks for watching.